This animation provides the steps for installing Rockwool Comfort Board 80 at the inside and outside corners of a typical wood framed wall. Begin by installing a water resistive barrier or WRB over the entire wall ensuring positive shingle laps and sealing all leading edges with sheathing tape. Attach bug screens leaving enough available to wrap around the insulation after it is installed. For ease of install, studs should be marked on the WRB prior to attaching the Comfort Board 80 and furring strips to the wall. Install the first course of Comfort Board 80 layered horizontally using two to five fasteners per board based on the requirements of the project to temporarily secure the insulation in place. Align the fasteners to the studs and secure with 2 inch or larger washers to hold the insulation in place. Attach the remaining courses of Comfort Board 80 working up from the bottom of the wall. Stagger each row horizontally ensuring the joints of the Comfort Board 80 align with studs. Install 1x4 furring strips over the Comfort Board 80. Fastener requirements, including furring strip size, may vary based on cladding type, sheathing, insulation thickness, and stud spacing. The furring strip should go all the way up to the roof line. The furring strip should attach through the first layer of insulation into the studs behind the sheathing. Based evenly along the wall in line with the studs, 16 or 24 inches on center. Misplaced fasteners should not be removed from the wall after penetrating the WRB. Instead, a second fastener should be correctly placed while leaving the misplaced fastener secured in the wall to avoid open holes in the WRB. Install 1x6 furring strips as required to support the outside corner trim boards and cladding. Install 1x6 furring strips as required to support the inside corner trim boards and cladding. Ensure bug screens at the top and bottom of the wall are underneath the insulation layer. With enough overhang to wrap around the insulation layer and furring strips after installed. Attach the outside corner trim boards to the furring strips. The corner trim boards should be nailed together, as well as to the strapping, to form the corner. Prepare the inside corner trim boards by nailing them together before affixing to the furring strips. Attach the inside corner trim boards to the furring strips. Finish installing the remaining cladding ensuring that it is attached to the furring strips only. Be sure to follow the cladding manufacturer guidelines when installing. Visit rockwool.com for more installation details.